Today on Real Talk, we're getting an agent's perspective after about a year in the business, and we're talking about what's going to happen in the short term in real estate. Today, we have the wonderful Danielle Simpson. Thanks for coming on, Danielle. Thank you for having me. So, Danielle, you've been in real estate coming up on a year now, mm -hmm. and before you were an administrator, mostly working on the transaction side of the business for the team. Correct. So how has it been transitioning from the administrative side over to the realtor side of things? For me, it was very smooth because I already knew the back end of everything being on the admin side. Um, I already had the relationship with other vendors and uh, agents within the team. So for me, it was perfect. So you would have obviously been working alongside agents and you'd get a, a bit of a Feel. perspective and an insight into how they work. But what was the biggest difference between watching them operate and maybe, you know, this question is, what's the difference between the public's perception of what a realtor does and then how it actually goes down day to day? It's not just opening the doors and showing a house. Um, it is building that relationship with all the vendors, um, facilitating all the paperwork, obviously, and building that trust with all my clients. Yeah, building that trust because many times you're not just doing, you know, meeting somebody and doing a transaction on the first property that you meet them at the, exactly. the house for. Uh, you know, sometimes it's many, many, many properties for the same client. Exactly. And you're building deep, deep, deep relationships. Especially depending on what your price point is. Sometimes I'm showing one property and we do an offer and sometimes it's 15. Sometimes it's 15. So you get to know your clients very, very In well. In and out, yes. <laughs> And what would be, would you say, uh, the biggest challenge that you faced in getting into real estate? It's that mistrust sometimes between um, complete strangers. I have a lot of success with helping my friends and family, but when you're meeting right. somebody off the bat brand new, it's building that relationship so that there is that trust. And I'm here to help you. It's not just a transaction for me, it's b building that relationship. Yeah, it's, it's tough when you're working with, I guess what you'd call the general public. Mm -hmm. um, you know somebody that you would otherwise get very well along with when you're in a real estate transaction it, it, it gets tough to build that relationship at the outset yeah and you know it's tough frankly it's tough not to take it personally because exactly. you have somebody that you feel you're doing a really good job and working hard for and yeah. they're not trusting you for, for and I, I love having that communication like the open line of communication um if i show you a property and you're interested in it and then you no longer want to go through let's be transparent about that right um maybe in the future we could uh, hop back on that and look for something. But that's my number one challenge, I would say. And I have to ask you, since it's your first time on the show, what is your perspective or insight on where the market, the market is, going? is going? I mean, I think you started last year around May. I did, yep. Um, so you've seen, I mean, not huge differences in the market since May last mm -hmm. year, uh, but based on what you've seen so far and you know all the experiences that you've had, where do you th see things going in the, in the near future for real estate? Right now I see it being a very balanced market. Hopefully going into spring, there's going to be an uptick in inventory. Um, depending on where you are uh, financially with your budget, I'm seeing properties at the 500 range going above asking yes, and yeah. holding and multiple offers. Um, so if, when my clients are in that category, it's a little more challenging. Um, but I do see an uptick coming into the spring market for sure. Yeah, it's, uh, the, uh, the report came out for February from RAB. Um, I, I haven't seen a balanced market like this in a long time oh, wow. where you know, you're 31 days average on market, mm -hmm. um, to about two months of inventory. Um, and then we see we've had you know, six months or so of stability in the market. Uh, the Bank of Canada d decided not to raise their rate, but whether they're, they're going to do that in the weeks is up, up, for, uh, up for grabs, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, interesting to see where things are going to go. Very excited. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thanks for coming on today. Thank oh, that's you for great. having me. Thank you.